Calling All Authors, the Your Book, Your Voice podcast with host Robert A. Lane features everything you need to know about narrating your audio book, but it doesn't stop there. We have special guests lined up from all aspects of the book publishing industry, and we also dive deep into what it takes to be mentally prepared for success as an author and in life. So please welcome your host, Robert A. Lane. Hey, my friends, how are you doing today? Uh, this is Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, cool place to hang out, my friends, especially if you're a nonfiction author, uh, because I focus on helping nonfiction authors like yourself turn your book into an audiobook that you narrate yourself and get you published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. I call it the AAA because those are the three distribution platforms that you absolutely need to be on. Uh, there are other distribution platforms, of course, uh, but those three are the ones that people go to uh, the most and people ask for by brand name. Are you on Audible? Are you on Apple Books? They, you know, they ask for that by brand name, so it's always great to be on those distribution platforms. Um, have a great show planned for you today. Uh, we're gonna deal about, uh, we're gonna talk about crushing fears. And we're going to dive into that in just a second. If this is your first time tuning in, just a quick intro about uh, who I am and what I do. Uh, I have a business called Robert Lane Coaching, and I focus on helping nonfiction authors turn their books into audiobooks. I am an audiobook coach and producer. I have a, a program, an audiobook coaching program, uh, which is a six-week program that takes you as the author through the entire process of setting up your own recording space teaching you the fine art of uh, audiobook narration and voiceover and how to do a compelling audiobook and of course getting you published on audible and amazon and apple books and uh, as your audiobook coach and producer not only do i coach you but i have 20 plus years experience as an audio editor so i do all the production work for you i edit make sure your book sounds great uh, make sure your audiobook meets the exact specifications for publication. And then I will go ahead and upload those uh, audio files for publication into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. And again, there, as you see on the screen, is a link to a free audiobook narration reference guide that uh, I give away for free. It's a PDF download. Uh, you can go to that uh, web address that's there on the screen. Uh, or you can also go to robertlincoaching.com uh, and as you'll see right on the front page, it says, you know, download your free uh, audiobook narration re reference guide. So make sure you grab that. All right. So um, great topic that I want to share with you. It's called How to Crush Your Speaking Fears. We are going to talk about fear. We're going to talk about crushing fear. We're going to talk about how fear can be a barrier uh, stopping you from moving forward in what you want to achieve in your business as an author or just in general. Uh, some of the, the techniques that I want to share with you are things that you can apply not only as an author, not only uh, as getting uh, your audiobook done, but in life in general. So important stuff that I want to share with you. Um, I do also want to mention that uh, as a self-published author myself, uh, I understand and have gone through the same experience that you have. If you published your own book, I have a book called uh, Lights Action You. Uh, this is uh, a book when I started Robert Coaching. Um, this book was a um, uh, really focusing on more of the life coaching and career coaching that I was doing at the time. And uh, with each story, because I've, I've spent you know 30 plus years in the entertainment business, so with each story, uh, that I share from uh, the entertainment world. I tie in some tools and techniques and lessons uh, that will help you through any type of work environment, how to manage your time, how to uh, deal with toxic work environments, uh, just how to overcome fear, because there is a chapter about that in there, uh, and just a whole variety of things that can help you not only as an author, not only in your job or career, but just in life in general, because that, that is really, really important. So uh, you can pick up that book. Again, on the graphic there, it has a link. Uh, you can always type it up in Amazon as well. 
And of course, there's the ebook version, the paperback version, and of course, we have the audiobook version. You've got to have that, right? <laughs> so you'll be able to get that as well. All right. So I do want to dive in to this topic for today, how to crush your speaking fears. Now, the reason why I bring up this topic is because a lot of the authors that I have as clients who go through uh, the audiobook coaching program that I teach, I would say a very high percentage of them have uh, a level of fear when it comes to doing their own narration. And that has also been a barrier for some authors as to why they haven't even thought about or even pursued looking into turning their published book into an audiobook because maybe they do want to narrate it. And as an audiobook coach and producer, I am 100% behind having you as the author narrate your own book, not getting an, uh, another narrator to do it, to do it not, not having uh, AI, absolutely not. You as the author need to narrate your own book because again, this is your story. Whether you've written uh, a nonfiction book or you're a coach or an entrepreneur or maybe you're a poet or a, a teacher or an educator, whatever type of book that you've written, this is in your unique style. It's your voice in the written word. So the next step for you once you get your book published or when it is published is to turn it into an audiobook that you narrate yourself. Because only you can speak your story the way that you intend it to be heard. No other narrator is going to be able to do that. They're going to interpret it their way, not your way. So it is so important for you to narrate your audiobook, which is why I created the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program to help you every step of the way. I'll give you more details about the program later on in the podcast, but I just wanted to share that with you as a reason why you as a nonfiction author really do need to narrate your own audiobook. Now, when it comes to fear, again, a lot of the authors that I've worked with have a fear of speaking, um, which is kind of a common thing, you know, uh, standing in front of stage, giving a speech, or, uh, you know, there, there's a fear. There's a fear there. Maybe it's, uh, it's a fear that even in small groups or maybe at a family gathering, and I, you know, as a kid, I was put into situations like that where, you know, my mom would put me, you know, on the spotlight and it just was not a comfortable thing for me. And growing up as a kid, I was, I was very introverted and shy and, you know, being pushed into, uh, you know, the spotlight like that just wasn't comfortable. And it took a long time to get over these fears, to figure out what is it that I need to do to get over being afraid of speaking in front of people. I know, especially as a musician, uh, I remember when I was studying guitar back when I was a kid and we, I went to a conservatory and we had recitals and that was the most nerve wracking thing ever because I'm sitting in front of a small group of people, you know, and, and you're performing and this is a recital for a grade. So a lot of pressure and it just, you know, it could be very, very, very um, uh, stressful and it does create a barrier. So. I understand that. I understand that that there you, know, you may not you may not want to or feel that you have the ability to narrate your own audiobook, but you do. You absolutely do. Uh, you have the talent to do it. Uh, every author that I've taken through my audiobook coaching program has done a fantastic job, and I love the way their audiobook sounds. And when I'm doing the editing, and I get to really listen to their book, I get sucked into the story every single time. So that's awesome. Uh, that, that they're doing a great job, and that you. Um, feel that, oh, I don't know if I have a good voice, and these are some of the uh, the things that I hear. Uh, I don't have a good voice. I don't like the way I sound. I don't feel comfortable. Uh, the, the underlying issue is fear, and we're going to talk about that. We're going to crush those fears. We want to crush those fears, so we will get into that. But before we dive into uh, some techniques that I want to share with you, uh, let's talk about just fear in general and what happens in the mind when this occurs. So the first thing to understand is your subconscious mind is basically 95% of your brain is your subconscious mind. About 5% are the things that you're uh, consciously aware of. So the subconscious mind does things without you having to think about it. Uh, and uh, so like, you know, for example, if you are uh, 
know, driving to work and you have a cup of coffee and you have somebody on your speakerphone and you're driving. So there's, you're doing all these things at the same time. Well, it's habit. Okay. So habit uh, is the fuel and your belief systems. We'll talk about that in just a second. Those, those are the two things that are the fuel that powers and drives your subconscious. So you don't have to think about, I need to step on the gas, now I need to let off the gas, now I need to you know, turn my head to turn on the turn signal and do, like all that stuff just happens because it's a habit and your subconscious takes over where you don't have to consciously make those decisions all the time. So understanding that is important because ask yourself this question, what is the kind of fuel that you are putting into your subconscious? What fuel are you using to drive and power your subconscious? Is it positive or is it negative? Think about that. So for example, getting back to uh, audiobooks, of course, and, and having this fear of speaking, maybe not feeling confident enough to do your own narration. Think about this. When you are telling yourself, I don't have a good voice, I'm not a good narrator, those are negative uh, thoughts, and that's a negative belief system that you've created, which is the negative fuel that you're using to power your subconscious. So you keep telling yourself that and telling yourself that and telling yourself that your subconscious is going to believe it, and you will never get beyond this barrier that's stopping you from uh, doing what you want to do, okay? So it's very important to understand that whatever fuel that you're using to to fire up that subconscious, it has to be positive, okay? So the beauty is you can change. You can change your thoughts. You can change your belief system. You can change the fuel that you're using to power your subconscious, all right? And the one thing that you need to do first is just being aware, consciously aware, of beliefs that you're feeding and the beliefs that do not serve you. And we need to tackle those, all right? Now, uh, we're gonna take a quick break. I do want to dive into uh, a system that I wanna share with you that will help you crush these beliefs, especially if you wanna narrate your own audiobook. So we're gonna come back with uh, these techniques. Don't go away. Again, if you're an author and you wanna narrate your own audiobook, definitely stay in tune. If you're not an author, this is good stuff I wanna share with you. So I don't want you to go off empty handed, all right? We will be right back. This is Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane. We are streaming live on the Bull Brave TV network. Got some great stuff for you coming up. Don't go away. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. 
And welcome back to Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Thank you so much for joining me. We're talking about crushing fears. Um, what are some of the things that you that that uh, maybe you're afraid of? What are some things that have been a challenge to you, uh, especially as an author? Uh, what are some things that have been a challenge to you that maybe have created barriers uh, that have uh, stopped you from moving forward with what you want to do with your business as an author or uh, maybe narrating your audiobook or, you know, I'd love to hear about it. You, you're more than welcome to uh, comment in, in the chat as well. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, pop them in, in there as well. Uh, if I can get to them uh, and answer those questions for you, I definitely will. All right. So we're going to dive into a way to help you overcome fear. Again, if you have fear of speaking, if you have uh, created a barrier of not moving forward with narrating your own audiobook for you know a reason of I don't feel comfortable, I don't have confidence in my voice, I don't like my voice, I don't like speaking in front of people, even though I may be by myself recording in front of a microphone, maybe that makes you nervous, um, you can crush these fears. So, uh, and this is something that I do talk about in the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program. Uh, where we do talk about the mindset aspect because that is so important. It's not just hit record, read your book, uh, audiobook done. It's, it's much more than that. It's much more than that. So we do deal with uh, confidence issues, building confidence, getting you to love your voice, and doing a great narration. Uh, but you need to, again, attack these fears, crush these fears. So how do you do that? Uh, I have a lot of catchphrases. So one of the catchphrases uh, in regards to fear is face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. Those are the four steps that you can utilize to crush your fear, okay? Because you as an author, especially if you're a self-published author, you've done all the work, you've done, you, you put your, your heart and soul, the blood, sweat, and tears to publish a great book, and that same drive, that same energy that you did when you wrote your book is the same thing that you're going to utilize when you do your audiobook. You want to bring that same energy with you when you do your narration. Because again, it's your voice in the written word. It'll be your voice that we're going to hear that will, again, preserve the integrity of your book, which is, again, why it's so important for you to narrate your own audiobooks, which as a nonfiction author. So Let's talk about the first aspect. We got face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. Face it. That's the first step. First step is facing your fear. All right. You need to identify. You need to acknowledge the fear. What is it? And, and that takes a little bit of thinking. Okay. You need to really strip away the layers and get down to the root cause of what is stopping you. What is causing this fear? What is the root cause? What is the root cause? Um, I'll share a story with you. It, it's uh, not audiobook related, uh, <laughs> but it is something that I experienced when I was a kid. Uh, and uh, I uh, signed up, um, my parents signed me up for Little League Baseball. And uh, I tried out and I guess I did pretty good because I was supposed to be in the Pee Wee League, but they moved me up into uh, the, the next league because the Pee Wee League was the one where they had the the, the little stand with the ball, and then, you know, you hit the ball, uh, T-ball, right? Uh, so, but I guess I did better than the kids my age, who should have been T-ball age, and moved me into a regular team. So uh, that was an interesting experience. However, for whatever reason, which is fear-based, <laughs> as I know now, I couldn't hit the ball. Whenever was I was in a game, I either... I either was walked or I struck out the entire season. I hit the ball once and it was a fell tip backwards. That was the only time that I hit the baseball during a game. And it was soul crushing for me. And it just it destroyed me. It destroyed me. And so after the season was over, the coach called my mom and said, Hey, you know, we want to bring Robert back in. And, and I, I, refused to play baseball ever again because that experience crushed me. I couldn't hit the ball and I was just crushed. So that became uh, a fear. That was like a, 
this little seed, this little poor fear that affected other things that I did later on in my life of not feeling good enough, of having lack of confidence. And that was one situation that uh, even though it was buried deep inside when I was a little kid, it came out in other ways. So when you strip away the layers, when you get down to the root cause, you can face it and acknowledge that fear. And sometimes you have to go to a dark place. Sometimes you do, but you still need to face it and get down to the core fear. What is it? What was the, th is there one thing, whether it happened many years ago, or maybe it's something that's more recent, what is stopping you? What is creating that barrier? What is the fear that is stopping you from doing what you want to do in your business as an author, as, a, as an audiobook narrator, to narrate your own book, or just in any other aspect of your life? What is it that is stopping you? Why did you not uh, you know, uh, go for that promotion at your job, for example, because you didn't feel like you were good enough? And I know authors deal with this a lot too. You know, imposter syndrome. Ah, uh, I don't know if I, if I really have the talent to really write a great book, or I, I'm not confident with this. But that's why, as as uh, nonfiction authors, we hire editors and proofreaders and formatters and all the other people that are there to support us as authors to create a fantastic book. You know, cover designers, just all that stuff. They're there to help us and support us. So it's good to know that there is help out there to make sure that if there is a fear, there are other people that can help you uh, get through it and to uh, move forward with your business, with your uh, book, with your audio book, and still produce a great product. But you again need to have to get, how to get down to that root cause. What is stopping you from doing it? Um, again, Speaking in public has been one, one big issue that I uh, deal with with uh, the clients that go through my program. And uh, again, the other thing is they hate their voice. They do not like their voice. I sound horrible, but you have to love your voice and you should because you have a great voice. Uh, this thing right here is a great resonator, right? Your head is this awesome tool that creates your unique voice. It's a great thing. <clears throat> this voice box here that you have, it's a wonderful thing. And you need to love it. You need to love it and you need to embrace it. And embracing it is the next step, right? You face your fear, face it, brace it, purge it, replace it. When you face your fear, you again are in identifying it and acknowledging it, stripping away the layers, getting down to the root cause of what it is that uh, may be stopping you from moving forward, okay? The next step is embrace it. <clears throat> Speaking of uh, throat, <laughs> it's a little dry today. Um, embracing your fear. Embrace it. And I you say the word embrace instead of saying confront. Confrontation is a negative term. I see that as, as a negative way of expressing fear. We're going to confront. We're going to, you know... It's aggressive. You don't want to be aggressive. You want to embrace it. Embrace your fear, okay? You don't confront your fear. You embrace your fear. So what you, there's a couple of things that you can do. One uh, thing is people will journal. People will write it out. Uh, some people like to do that. Uh, honestly, for me, if there's something that I'm dealing with, I, I like to talk it out. If I'm by myself, uh, it's great. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit here in my uh, production studio and work things out and like to talk it out because I like to hear, you know, when you hear yourself say things and express it and get it out in the open, um, your mind opens. You're more, uh, again, embracing the fear. You're, you are more open to embracing the fear. So talking it out for me is one uh, way that you can do it. Some people, they do like journaling. They like to write it out. They like to, you know, some people hang, you know, hang on to these journals. Uh, but if you can just write it out and, and uh, get it out in the open, right? You're, you're not confronting it. You're embracing the fear, okay? Because again, confronting is, is more of a negative thing. We want to want negative. Again, what is the fuel that you're using to power and drive your subconscious? Positive fuel or negative fuel? 
want to get rid of the negative fuel. So don't be confrontational. Embrace. Embrace it. Get it out in the open, you know. And what you will discover is that, you know, maybe this isn't as bad as I thought it was. Now that I've identified what my fear is, now that I've acknowledged what my fear is, now I can embrace it because now I understand it. You know, maybe for me, looking back with my uh, baseball story, you know, I look back at that and, then, and just thought, you know, God, that was such a, such a dumb thing for me to do. But I don't want to say that uh, in a negative way either. So I would change my wording and just say, you know, as a kid, I was very shy. I was very introverted and uh, I wanted to feel worth. I wanted to contribute to the team. I wanted to, uh, you know, do well and be proud of myself and have other people be proud of, of me. Uh, and so those were aspects. So uh, instead of saying, right, the first uh, uh, thought was ah, that, that was a dumb thing to do. Well, not necessarily, not necessarily. So you just change your wording, okay? And you accept, right? I mean, I just embrace the fact that at that time, that was my thought process, you know, and I'm a kid, right? I'm a little kid. I have a lot to learn about life. So that's just how I uh, handle it and look at it now as an adult. And I could see how that also led to other things that maybe I didn't do later on in life because this incident, and, it's not, and again, it wasn't just only this incident, but there was something that did play a factor into doing something or not doing something. So when you face your fear, then you embrace it. Now you can talk it through and understand it better. And then you know that, okay, now I know what I need to do. Now I know what is causing this fear. If it's, a, you know, again, doing your own audiobook, narrating your own audiobook, maybe you have a fear of, uh, of speaking and, you know, speaking in public. And that, you know, there could have been one situation, like I mentioned, you know, but like when my mom would put me on the pedestal and <laughs> shine the spotlight, you know, at a, at, a, at a party or something. And it's like, that was the worst thing. It was very you know, trauma, traumatizing for me to, to experience that. And that did create a lot of fear for me uh, growing up. And I had to learn how to face it and then embrace it so that I can deal with it and then move on and not allow these things to create barriers stopping me from what I want to do. So those are the first two steps. You got to face it and you have to embrace it. Okay. Now, the third step is uh, purge it. Now, purging your fear is, uh, is something that uh, it sounds like, oh, it's gone. It's all gone. And that's not necessarily true either, because if there is a fear, an underlying fear, and this is something that's been ingrained in your subconscious, right? Your belief system and your habits, those are the things that drive the subconscious. And when you are feeding those uh, negative thoughts and negative beliefs that you have about yourself or about a situation or, or a fear that is a negative fear, again, that is fueling the subconscious. And you don't want to put those fuels, uh, that type of fuel in there. So when you purge it, you're pushing it aside. You're moving it aside. Okay. Um, we're going to dive into this in a little bit more detail. Uh, we do have to take another break. Time flies, man. I'm telling you. We're going to take a little break, uh, but we will be back. We're going to dive into what it is to purge your fear and replace your fear. Those are the last two steps of the face, embrace it purge it, place it. All right. This is your book, your voice. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to take a quick break. Uh, I'm Robert A. Lane, your host, and you, we are streaming live on Bold Brave TV Network. Let's uh, finish this up when we come back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had 
relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com. Or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. And welcome back to Your Book, Your Voice. I'm Robert A. Lane, your host, and uh, I have a business called Robert Lane Coaching. I'm an audiobook coach and producer uh, specializing in helping nonfiction authors take their book to the next level by having them narrate their own audiobook and get it published on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. Uh, that's what I do. Love what I do, and I love helping authors like yourself. Uh, today, we are talking about fear because that is an aspect that uh, does come into play when you do your audiobook narration. Um, not having confidence or having something that is that is stopping you from from being authentic and conversational and compelling and engaging, uh, these barriers will have an effect with the way you do your narration. So we went over uh, two of the four points: the face it, embrace it, purge it, and replace it phrase that I use when it comes to uh, dealing with fear. Okay, so again, facing your fear, acknowledging it, embracing it. Uh, meaning not confronting, but, but uh, you know, accepting that this is what the fear is, getting down to the root cause, finding uh, maybe something specific, or maybe there could be a few things that are the root cause of something that is uh, causing this fear within you that is stopping you from doing things that you want to do or second guessing yourself. You know, imposter syndrome comes from, from that as well. So uh, these are things to, to keep in mind. So the third thing we started to talk about before we took a break is purging it. Face it, embrace it. Now we're going to purge it. Purge it means moving it aside, okay? Moving it aside also means you just let it go. To let it go. You are coming to terms with this fear that has been uh, stopping you from doing the things that you want to do. You faced it, you embraced it. Now you're purging. You're moving it aside, okay? You're coming to terms with this. Now, I did mention that uh, the fear may not just disappear and go away. Uh, depends on, on how much it's ingrained into your subconscious and what the <clears throat> excuse me, what the fear is. So it doesn't necessarily disappear. That happens. But because you've faced it and you've embraced it and now you've come to terms with it, you can move it aside. All right, you move it aside. And when you move it aside, what you're doing is making room for the final piece of the puzzle. And that is replace it. You're replacing your fear with positivity, with positive affirmations, with things. Uh, again, we're talking about we're talking about the fuel, the fuel that sub, uh, that uh, drives your subconscious, that powers your subconscious. We're now taking away this negative, uh, ingraining uh, negativity fuel, and we're now we're moving it aside. Because remember. Your habits and your belief systems are what drives the subconscious. You need to change your habits and you need to change your belief system to something positive. That's where you bring in positive affirmations. And this is why affirmations are really important. 
you know, and it can be something as simple as I, I love my voice. I'm a great narrator. I have a great voice. I have an awesome book. I'm the only person who can narrate my book. I'm the only person who can do justice to the narration of my own audiobook. Whatever the, uh, the, the positivity, whatever the affirmations are, you know, I, I tell my, my author clients when they go through my audiobook coaching program to make a list of 10 affirmations that they say. And I have them write them out. I have them print them up and paste them. Paste them, you know, their office. Paste it on the bathroom mirror. Put it on the refrigerator. Put them everywhere so you can see them all the time and you can read them. And again, it's more than just reading your affirmations. You can read it and then say, oh, okay, and move on. But did you really do anything? Have you really ingrained uh, a new habit? Have you changed your belief system? Probably not. You need to say your affirmations until you feel it. Until you feel it. Because when you feel it, then you believe it. And now you are changing your belief system and your subconscious is now going from, oh, yeah, you know, you, you're not a good narrator to, oh, yeah, you are. You're a great narrator. You're a great author. You've written a fantastic book. Of course you should narrate your own book. That's what happens. And that is the beautiful thing about dealing with your fears. So this is how you crush your fear. Remember that phase. Now I have it in my book. It's one of my chapters. The, the chapter, what's the chapter called? It's called um, Fight, Flight, or Freeze. That's the name of the chapter. And it talks about a situation that I dealt with when I was uh, working in the entertainment industry. But the concept and the lesson and tool and technique is the same. So you can apply it to your job. You can apply it to something uh, that you're doing in your life. And especially for you as an author and as a narrator of your own audiobook, you definitely can apply this to that. So you face your fear. You embrace your fear. You purge your fear. Right. And now you're replacing your fear again. Affirmations. You say it until you feel it. Another way of looking at it is uh, when you wrote your book, you were excited about it. That feeling that you had, that drive, that purpose that you had when you wrote your book. That's what you're bringing to the table. That's what you want to feel when you're saying your affirmations, because once you start to feel it, you start to believe it. And when you start to believe it, you start to believe in your own voice. And this is another phrase I tell my clients, love your voice, own your voice, own it, because it's a wonderful thing. You have an awesome voice. You obviously have an, an ability to speak in written form, right? Your voice is in your written form and your written word when you publish your book. You can do the exact same thing in your audio book. You just have to get rid of the fear. You just have to get rid of the fear and just build that confidence. You can narrate your own book, all right? You definitely can do it. This is why I love doing what I do as a coach, helping people just do a fantastic narration. Um, if you are interested in the audiobook coaching program, uh, I'm going to get into some de details about it uh, in the next segment. But uh, I just want to say if you want more information, you can go to my website at robertlincoaching.com. Uh, and if you uh, want to book a call, please do, because uh, I talk to every potential author, client uh, first before I enroll them into the program, because I want to talk with you first. Uh, so, um, yeah, check out this graphic here. This is for you to go to the website and uh, all the information is there about the audiobook coaching program, and there's there's buttons everywhere. Book a call, schedule your call, because that's the first step. Another one of my uh, infamous catch, catchphrases, well, maybe not infamous, but maybe it will be, I don't know, is action takers are success makers. So that's a one simple action step that you can take, and I'd love to talk with you. And you talk to me personally. Like we have a meeting, one-on-one -on -one meeting to talk about your book, find out what your goals are, and uh, see if the audiobook coaching program is something that you want to get involved in. All right, so uh, with that, um, again, just to review, face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. Remember that phrase.
because that will help you deal with your fears. That will help you, again, facing the fear, acknowledging what it is, embracing it, getting down to the root cause, stripping away the layers, understanding what it is that is causing the fear. And, you know, embracing it is coming to terms with it as you purge it, you come to terms, you move it aside. When you move it aside, you have uh, the replacing aspect of the, the phrase, which is putting positive affirmations, replacing the negativity with positivity. And that is what's going to create a great audiobook. All right. And that is what's going to get you to not be afraid. You know, people don't like to talk about fear. Uh, a lot of people don't, and they don't like to, you know, um, they, they put up this front, like we do this. Uh, it, it may be a little bit less nowadays, but you know, back in the day, right? It was like, no fear, none. <laughs> but you know, we're human beings. That's just part of who we are, how we're wired and how life is. But again, you have a choice. You have a choice <clears throat> because I'm gonna throw out another catchphrase to you. You are the CEO of you. All right, you published your book. Um, I deal with, uh, I think, almost every client that I've uh, helped through the audiobook coaching program uh, was a self-published author. They did the book themselves, which is awesome. I'm a big supporter of that. So what that means is that you are the CEO of you. The buck stops here. So when it comes to decisions about your business, no matter how easy or hard those decisions are, you're the boss. It's up to you to make the a well-informed best decision for your business. So if there is fear involved, if there's a barrier, if there's something stopping you, if there's some kind of negativity, you're the CEO of you. You are the boss. So you need to face and embrace it, purge it, replace it. You need to put that fear aside because you don't want anything stopping you from being uh, a great author, presenting your brand because you are a brand. Your book is your product, and having various formats of your book is a smart business move. So, if your book is an ebook or a paperback or hardcover, you definitely need to add audiobook to your arsenal because that expands your audience. It, it uh, has people who maybe go look for audiobooks first before they even think about getting, uh, you know, a physical book or or an ebook. And they look for audiobooks. So there's a market there that uh, that you may be missing out on if you don't have your book in audiobook form. So that's something to think about. Also, along those lines is that revenue streams, right? By having more formats for you to offer for your followers, your readers, your fans of your writing, uh, you know, any book, paperback, hardcover, Audiobook, yes, definitely. But I'll tell you, the, the greatest thing is when you narrate your own book because you do have a great voice and you just have to own it, right? Own your voice, believe in your voice. You have the confidence. You had, you had enough confidence and enough drive and enough purpose and a core reason for writing your book in the first place. It was important enough for you to write this book and put it out there in the world to see. It's important for you to be the one to narrate your own book, to put it out there to the world to hear in your own voice. That's what's so important. So don't allow uh, any kind of uh, hesitation. Fear of speaking in public, again, does affect your narration. Don't let that stop you. Don't let that be a bar barrier. Don't let a negative thought about what you think about yourself and your book and you know and your voice uh not your book but your voice love your voice you got to love your voice appreciate it love it have confidence in it <clears throat> again those are the things that i help my clients through the audiobook coaching program all right so again remember that phrase face it embrace it purge it replace it Take a quick drink of water. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm kind of losing my voice, which is kind of funny, right? Because <laughs> I'm an audiobook coach. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But hey, you know what? That's, <clears throat> that's life. 
Um, we're going to take a, a quick break so I can get my voice back a little bit. Uh, so you're listening to Your Book, Your Voice. Uh, I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. Uh, we'll, we'll take a quick break and be back to wrap things up. Uh, I want to tell you more details about the audio coaching program, and uh, we'll also preface what we're going to talk about for next week's show as well. Uh, we are streaming live on the Full Brave TV network. Don't go away. Thanks for hanging in. We'll be right back. Author, radio show host, and coach John M. Hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. And we're back to Your Book, Your Voice. I'm your host, Robert A. Lane with Robert Lane Coaching. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Um, I was talking with the engineer during the break a little bit, and... Uh, um, out where I live, I like to go running. This is something that I enjoy doing. Very meditative uh, for me. Um, but for some reason, it really trashes my voice. Maybe it's, you know, from the breathing or I don't know. But uh, uh, I've now learned that do not go running on podcast day. <laughs> it just trashes my voice. Unbelievable. But anyway, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the show. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. Again, if you have any comments, please uh, pop them in or any questions <clears throat> about the audio world. I'd love to talk to you about that as well. But I do want to share with you a little more detail, kind of give you a bird's eye view of the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program, which is the audiobook coaching program that I teach as a coach and producer. So the program is a six-week course, all right? So in six weeks, I take you from Set up in preparation of your own recording space because, you, again, you are narrating your own book, which is right on. It's good stuff. So I help you with setting up your recording space. I provide you with the professional equipment that you need to do the recording. So you don't have to find a studio, hire an engineer, do any of that. I handle that for you. <clears throat> I actually send you the equipment that you need. Microphone, headphones, a sound isolation screen, pop filter, everything that you need. We go over the recording uh, program that uh, that you will use to record your audiobook on. We cover all that. That's provided for you in the course. Uh, the other part is the narration, the most important part, of course. And that is where I teach you the tools and techniques, both from the mental standpoint, right? Because again, you got to be in the right mindset. You got to be in the right frame of mind before you hit that record button. So we talk about that. We talk about the confidence issues. We talk about loving your voice, owning your voice, crushing those fears, being confident as a audio book narrator because you're narrating your own book. That is a great thing. So uh, I teach you those tools and techniques for the mental side. And of course, obviously the physical side as well. Posture, how to breathe, uh, pacing, 
Uh, and again, the intangibles are so important. Energy, what you're bringing to the table. Remember I talked about those affirmations, saying them until you feel it. How did it feel when you published your book? How did it feel when you were writing this book? What was the drive? What was the purpose? That core reason of why you wrote your book. That energy is what you bring to the table when you do your audiobook narration. So we talk about that, we go over that, and I teach you all the tools that you need to do to do a great audiobook narration. Now, that's the coaching part of it. What's great about the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program is that there goes the coaching hat. Now the audio editor hat comes on. So again, you don't have to find a studio. You don't have to find editors. You don't have to find any of that because I provide that for you as part of the course. When you record your audiobook, you send your audio files to me. I do the editing, clean them up, make sure they are to the exact specification for publication on Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. And once that's done, then I will do the uploading for you for publication into Audible, Amazon, and Apple Books. You don't even have to worry about any of the backend stuff. That's all taken care of in the audiobook coaching program. So really, <clears throat> all you're worried about, I wouldn't really say worried, all you are doing and focusing on is a great narration, a great narration. I was talking to one of my clients today. We had a meeting this morning, and <clears throat> he said something that I just love hearing. It's like, I am having so much fun doing this because you know what? It really is fun. When you narrate your own book, it's a blast. It's a blast. And the other beauty thing, the other beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing about narrating your own audiobook is that you're in control of it. And when you set up your own recording space, when I show you how to do it, it's in your own home. So you can record it on your time, right? You're not bound by finding a studio, going in on their schedule instead of working on your own schedule. You know, if it's, if you like working early in the morning, you record your audiobook in the, in the morning. <clears throat> if you like um, doing it late at night, you're a night owl, great. You have the freedom to record your audiobook when you need to do it. And that is a fabulous freedom to have. So again, the Your Book, Your Voice Audiobook Coaching Program is a six-week program, and it's a do-it-with-you program. Um, and uh, I'm telling you, you will be fantastic. Now, again, I do have an audiobook narration guide that is uh, free for you to download. It's on my website, and it's also at that link there. Um, but the most important thing, again, and I mentioned about action takers or success makers, and the only action uh, step that you need to take is to schedule a call with me. All you need to do is schedule a call with me. And I know we have a graphic about uh, bringing a call. Uh, so if you could pop that up there, that'd be great. Um, thank you. Um, let's see. There you go. Beautiful. Book a call with me. That's the link. Uh, you can jot that down. Or again, you can go to my website and you can book a call there as well because uh, it'll take you to my calendar. And the way it works, <clears throat> like I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> sorry about the throat thing, um, is I want to talk to you as before you can get enrolled because I want to find out about your book. I want to find out about your goals. I want to establish a business relationship with you because we're going to be working together for you know the next six weeks when you enroll. So uh, that's just something that I like doing and is talking to you directly. So we just do a quick consultation and get you enrolled. It's that simple. So again, book a call. I'd love to talk with you, tell you about uh, uh, what you can do with your audiobook. There's other things that I share with you in the program, some marketing strategies, how to do a launch, how to up your rankings in Audible. Uh, there are things that you can do to uh, enhance your audiobook. And also we talk about other things that you can do to promote your audiobook. And again, having this extra format is a great thing. Having an audiobook is great because again, you're reaching an audience that maybe you didn't reach before. And when you have an audiobook, just like when you launched your ebook, your paperback or your hardcover, it's relaunching your book. You know, if you just published a book, now's a great time to turn it into an audiobook. If you published a book that maybe you you, you did it you know, a few years ago, don't let it die on the vine. This is a great way to resurrect your book, bring it back to life, do a relaunch and, and have a whole new audience 
find out about this great book of yours. So by all means, do it, right? Book your call. Book your call. We'd love to talk with you, okay? So again, you can go to robertlinecoaching.com uh, and uh, there's uh, buttons there for the link or you can grab the link right there uh, that you see and you can write that down and uh, book your call. My calendar is uh, there for you to schedule. And again, I want to talk with you first before I enroll you into the audiobook coaching program. So uh, it's, it's just a, a great thing and a great way to promote yourself as an author because remember, this is your brand. You are an author brand, and this is a great way to have another uh, avenue uh, to promote your book, have another format that you could offer the people that want to read your book and want to listen to your book. And, and again, uh, the, the growing trend is that people not only buy audiobooks, but they also buy your ebook or buy your paperback as well because they like to listen and read along. And that's a great thing. So that can also boost your sales. This is an, another revenue stream. You can combine it with offers. You can, you know, buy my audiobook and get my ebook at half price. Or here's my audiobook, uh, you know, get my audiobook for free and I'll send you a free signed copy. Or, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do. So uh, go to robertlanecoaching.com. I'd love to have you schedule a call and talk with you and share with you about the Your Book, Your Voice audiobook coaching program and have you narrate your own book because you can do it. Crush those fears, right? We're crushing those fears. All right, my friends, we're just about out of time. Again, I, I can't thank you enough for tuning in and enjoying the show. And I hope that the information that I shared with you, you will take with you and that it's very valuable to you. I do have an assignment for you, uh, which I do this uh, after every show. And that is go out there say hello to a stranger when you're out and about, give them a compliment, smile at them, because that small gesture of kindness can make somebody's day because you don't know what they're going through. And that can be the one great thing that has happened to them that day. So with that, go out there, be good humans. I will be back here on Your Book, Your Voice next week at this same time, 8 p.m. on the East Coast, 5 p.m. on the Pacific Coast right here for you with another great topic about audiobooks. And uh, if you have a topic that you, that you want me to talk about, let me know about it. I'd love to hear from you. You can go to my website and uh, uh, send me uh, some contact, in, you know, the contact form and write to me. I'd love to hear from you. But book that call. Action takers are success makers. And the other phrase, you are the CEO of you. And of course, when it comes to fear, face it, embrace it, purge it, replace it. Remember that crush those fears, move them aside, fill them with positivity, fuel your subconscious with positive fuel. All right. Thank you so much. I'm Robert A. Lang. We are streaming live on the Bold Brave TV network. Again, appreciate you tuning into the Book Your Voice podcast. We'll be talking to you next week, my friends. Take care. This has been Your Book, Your Voice with host Robert A. Lane. Tune in each week for another powerful and informative episode of Your Book, Your Voice. Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave TV Network.